Yo, it is Friday, May 21st, 2011. Ah, <sighs> just another day being jobless. <laughs> okay guys, so today we do have a subject. A subject for the day. What is that subject? Aliens. Aliens is the subject, and do you want to know why? Because ever since I was like 12 years old, like 12, something like that, I've had like this, like, I don't really want to say obsession, but just like fascination, I guess the word, with aliens. And Dalton is, is pretty skeptical about it. Um, he doesn't really believe in aliens. Um, I guess my question to you guys is, do you believe in aliens? Like, not like the, I'm gonna come and abduct you and kill you aliens, the doomsday aliens, just that there's another life somewhere that lives amongst us, not just the human race and planet Earth itself. Like there has to be more out there somewhere. Do you guys believe in that at least? At least something like that, that we're just not the only life forms? Please let me know down below. And um, that's pretty much all I wanna know right now. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm outside of a local burger joint, trying to get a job. As you can see, I'm hitting all the restaurants because I feel like this is pretty much the only situation that I can be in is serving. Because anywhere else, I can't have the money like right there. So, um, like the situation that I was in before this was just so perfect that I cannot believe still right now that I don't have this job and I'm, I'm searching for a job right now. I shouldn't be having to search for a job right now. I should be working in about an hour is what I should be doing. So I'm still depressed about this, but you know, that's the thing about life that you really have to conquer guys, like for real. Like I'm gonna be on a real, real note with you. Like this is pretty much the hardest thing right now in an economy that's so bad, America is getting a job and Florida is the worst. It's one of the worst possible uh, places you can be right now for a job. Besides like Wisconsin or something, you know, like that's one of the worst too. Or Michigan, not Wisconsin, Michigan, you know, like that's, that's pretty horrible. But here I am, just all depressed, going to places, trying to look as good as I can. I don't even have a colored shirt right now because I left them all at my mom's house. I think I have one, but I can't even find it. So let's see how this place goes. Come back between two to four. Monday to Friday. You ever hear those places tell you that? It's true. Um, whenever you're trying to go out and apply yourself for a job, especially restaurants, come between the hours of two and four because that is the slowest hours possible. Probably around the world, no lie. So just remember that, just that short tip for if you're trying to get a job, which I'm still trying to achieve. Just more applications to throw back at places. Guys, you're literally witnessing just another American trying to get a job. Let's see how fast I can do it. I'm gonna to try to get it within this week or next week. Can I do it faster than Emily did? I mean, Emily's, you know, she's there. She's just like, oh, you, oh, you, oh, Emily, oh, you want a job, oh. But it's like, oh, Greg, Greg, you want a job? <laughs> what makes you special? <sighs> Sexist. That's what people are. People are sexist. They see a freaking hot ass chick walk and they're like, bam, you're hired. But she may be dumb. I'm not calling Emily dumb, but I'm just saying. Then you come over here, you see a smart guy like me, you know, walking in. And it's like, oh, look at this douchebag. What does he want? Look at him, he's got a pen in his ear. Shit. What a douchebag. <sighs> yep. This is awesome. Well, might as well go into a Starbucks coffee and waste all my money because that's what Starbucks is, is overpriced coffee. They overpriced it by like 300% of their product, but that's where I'm about to go right now. To be a kid again, th this is what I want to do. I want to be like, you know, playing basketball in the middle of the street or, you know, you know, doing something fun, running around, play, you know, playing football, freaking doing something. But no, I'm 20 years old. Trying to become a freaking man here. And I get fired from my freaking job. You know, 
As the week progresses, you know, I, I thought I would get over it, but I'm more and more angry about it. I wish just somehow that I could just change my past somehow and just I just just went to work anyways that day. Maybe maybe I wouldn't be fired because you know I showed up. Instead, I didn't even bother to even go because of misinformation um, stating that they didn't really, you know, they didn't need anybody, you know? They were fine, you know? Ah, oh, rapist glasses! Another reminds me, for some reason, of um, a story when I was little that my father told me. My father who lives in New York, uh, my real father, who you guys haven't seen yet. Well, he once told me probably when I was like eight or seven, seven or eight, whatever, that we were abducted by aliens. Me and my brother and my sister, we were abducted by aliens and then like they, they implanted something in the back of our necks because each and every one of us have like a red spot on the back of our necks. It's pretty crazy. Uh, you can't see it right now because I got hair like covering it. I'll show you with Brody one day. Um, he has it. Um, it's still visible on the back of his neck, so I'll show you. Um, but yeah, uh, I, w I believed that for such a long time. But then later on, I finally realized that it was just in our genetics. <sighs> oh, Dad. My dad is a strong believer in aliens. He thinks that uh, they're going to be coming in 2012. So, uh, watch out for that. Remember that, guys. That is what 2012 is all about. The aliens coming back. <sighs> Alright, here's another thing that's just kind of bugging me uh, in the comments a little bit. You know, here, I'm going to reply to... Somebody, Luscious Pimp, Luscious Pimp, what's up man, I appreciate your comments and stuff, but you know, something that um, a lot of people, who are new of course, especially, um, who do not get um, what this channel is about, like you're, you're saying uh, Chelsea hasn't been getting enough air time, I don't even know what that's supposed to even mean, it's not like she's like an absolute 100% vlogger on this channel, she's just, she's a friend, Chelsea is our friend, um, Emily is Dalton's girlfriend. Um, it's mostly, it's supposed to be me and Dalton and our lives um, interconnecting, similarities, differences, blah, 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 like, like it has been. But um, Chelsea and Emily um, are obviously, like, they're a part of it because they're our friends. Like, why don't you ask for more airtime from Sahi or more airtime from Tristan, which was the old, like, the first EDV girl that's been on here. There's, there's nobody asking, oh, where's Tristan? Uh, we need we need to see her. I haven't been hanging out with her. I have not been hanging out with Chelsea um, enough, I guess, to have her on the channel. I don't know. It's not, like, this is not a TV show. This is our lives. Like, that's all I'm, like, I'm trying to say. So, um, yeah, Chelsea will be on the vlogs when, she, when we're hanging out with her and when she wants to be on it. Sometimes she does not want to just be on camera, um, you know? Uh, that's just how it is. Can't really change that, so that's just you know. I just wanted to uh, update you on that one, Mr. Luscious Pimp, and whoever else has been asking for that. Well, there you go. Let's get back to reality here, shall we? It is dark out now. There is a fountain. There is a Dalton. Looking for aliens. We are looking for aliens, actually. And uh. Dalton over here is going to share his experience okay, for, uh, that he had with aliens. For, for five <laughs> subscribers, would you, would you dive into that lake and go For five subscribers. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, right. But uh, it is now dark. So, uh, next scene. Alright, screw outside. <laughs> uh, we decided to come inside because we are Floridians. Well, I guess I'm Floridian, I don't know. I was born in New York. Or whatever. I've been here for a while. Uh, it's pretty cold. What's it like, 40? <laughs> it's cold, okay? I don't know, it feels like 30. 30? Jesus. Then again, it could be 50. <laughs> well, damn. Well, we're really just chilling here, so... Let me tell you this story. About this one time. I, mean, I was like, I was like 15, right? And I was spending the night at uh, my friend's house. But earlier that day, he tells me that uh, when he woke up this morning, he, he went to his backyard and he saw this weird ass like creature that like he thinks looked like an alien. And I'm thinking like an alien? Like what do you mean like an alien? He says like, I mean like an alien, man. I mean, it looked like a dude, but it wasn't a dude. It was like an animal, you know? And I'm thinking like, 
that's just weird. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean, but whatever. So later that night, you know, I'm spending the night over there. We're just playing video games or whatever. We pass out. We pass out, and it's like, I guess it was getting around three o'clock in the morning. We've been we've been asleep for about an hour, and all of a sudden, there's just this just banging on the window, just pop, 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 and it like woke me up, woke him up. We look around, look at each other, like, I don't even. Whoa. Did you hear that? Yeah. That's weird. It sounded like a you know, pop, pop, pop happened again. It's weird. And uh, th at that point, both of us are freaked out. Like, we jump out of the bed, fucking just get out and uh, go to, like right next to the door. I'm thinking, like, D go up to the window, see what it is. Like, you, whatever, you do it. <laughs> I'm thinking, like, I'm not going to go next to that window. And pop, pop, pop happens again. So I'm thinking, it's got to be a person. It's someone out there. So he's thinking, like, all right, well... If you come outside, I'll go out there and check with you. I was like, uh, no thanks. Because, I mean, mind you, this the whole time, like, the window is, like, blacked out. Like, there's, like, tape and whatever over it. It's back in Tampa. Like, I guess their window was broken. They just didn't want to fix it. But either way, it was it was loud and it was scary. By the time I got into the living room, all of a sudden I hear pop, pop, pop on the front door. And I'm, like, freaking out, right? So... At that point, I run back to the hallway and like I go into the bedroom that's uh, back there. And this bedroom ha doesn't have any windows or anything like that. And I'm like, I'm like in the corner of the room, just freaking out. And then, pop, 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 pop. Like the front door just breaks down, and all of a sudden I hear like something like just bolt into the living room. But it wasn't like, it wasn't like a person, you know. Like when you when you hear a person kind of running, it's like step, step, step. No, this is like. Step, 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 step. It was weird. Like, it was like more than like one feet. I don't, I don't even know. It was like a gang coming in, man. I was freaking out. So I'm sitting there just waiting on what's going to happen. And uh, all of a sudden, there's just this jolt towards the hallway. And I can hear whatever it is. It's coming. And it's dark in the room because I, I had I've been too scared to turn on the light. So I just went to the corner. And I can see the, the, the light from the hallway. But this thing comes in and it's just looking at me. It looks like a person, but attached to it, it's like it's not a person body. It's just weird. It's got like more than two legs. I don't even know how many there is. It's got some weird ass arms and they're small and big ass hands and shit. And it just jolts at me, right? And I'm like, I black out. I'm too scared. This is freaking me out. And uh, I wake up and I'm back in the bed. My friend's just like playing Xbox and shit. It's like four o'clock in the morning and it's raining. I'm like, oh my God. Uh, dude, I had this weird ass dream, and uh, it was weird. It was like someone was banging on the window, and it was this weird alien thing. It came and like killed me or something. He's like, really? That's weird. It's because uh, someone was banging on the window earlier, but uh, it stopped when you rolled over. So, I always kind of thought that was weird that people could have a dream like that, and. Uh, I guess my butt didn't hurt or anything, but uh, I kind of believe in alien. Well, okay, guys. That is going to be it for today. I hope you liked our little alien subject today. Once again, do you believe in aliens and why? Leave that in the comment section below. Now, like the video. And favorite it if you must. And, of course, dislike. If you the Yeah, that was creepy as hell. See you What's that? What the <laughs> Ninja. I don't think I can do this. Thank <laughs> you.